Today, NVIDIA released the RTX 4070, and now that we've already taken a look at the Founders Edition and its performance, let's take a look at the partner models and see what else they can bring to the table. While many people interested in the 4070 will be looking at the Founders Edition, there are a lot of other options available from a lot of different manufacturers. ASUS, MSI, Pilot, Galax, PNY, and Gainward have all released models already, and probably more will come in the future. But what really is the difference between all these cards? All cards were tested with the same test system, which includes an i9-13900K, as well as using the latest driver provided by NVIDIA for this review. That being said, since the performance doesn't really differ that much between all these cards, we'll be primarily focusing on the aspects of each card that make them different from each other. Let's quickly look at performance though. And at 1440p, the preferred resolution for this card, we can see that there is not a whole lot of difference between all of them, as expected. The MSI RTX 4070 Gaming X Trio is the fastest card available at stock, with 3% more performance than the RTX 4070 Founders Edition, and the Gain Ward RTX 4070 Ghost is 2% slower. While perspectives on this might differ, 5% jump between the highest and the lowest performing models shouldn't really be noticeable while gaming. What might be more noticeable is fan noise, and the ASUS RTX 4070 Tough is the quietest out of this group. Followed by the PNY 4070 Accelerate, the ASUS 4070 Dual in the Quiet BIOS, and the MSI Gaming X Trio. While not exactly loud, the 4070 Founders Edition is one of the loudest out of this group, though it is probably the smallest card overall, with the Galax and Gainward coming out slightly noisier. Things don't change all that much when looking at GPU temperatures, with the ASUS 4070 Tough leading the pack. The MSI Gaming X Trio continues to do well, and the Gainward 470 Ghost rounds out the bottom. Though it should be said that 75C is well within the thermal limits of this card. Looking at memory temperature performance, and the Gaming X Trio is now in the lead at 48.3 degrees C, the ASUS Tough is doing very well at 51, and the gain word is rounding out the bottom again at 70. These cooler numbers are actually even more surprising when we look at power consumption while gaming, and we can see that the two best performers in coolers are actually the worst performers in terms of power consumption. The ASUS and the MSI cards use 207 and 210 watts respectively, which is only 22 watts above the least power hungry card, the Vanilla PNY, with the Founders Edition rounding up the middle with 201 watts. We can really see the extra time NVIDIA spent dialing in the power consumption though at idle. We're only talking about 11 watt difference between the highest and lowest performer, but your card is most likely going to be spend the most amount of time right here at idle, so this could be a decision maker for people looking to have the lowest power consumption possible. If you're looking for the best performance though, that would be with overclocking. Now, none of these cards are that amazing at overclocking, but you should be able to get between five and 7% more performance over stock. And with the highest power limits and the highest stock performance, the MSI 4070 Gaming X is the fastest card in our testing. Now, all cards are different and your mileage may vary, but we found that it to be faster than the Galax EX White, the PNY Accelerate, and faster than the RTX 4070 Founders Edition. But even this only equates to about a 6% difference between the fastest and the slowest card, which is just about the same as the 5% difference as we saw in the stock configurations. But performance is relative to what you paid for it, so looking at overclocked relative performance, and we can see that all the $600 cards are pretty much all the same. The Galax EX White being slightly better than the stock 470 FE, although that could be down to Silicon Lottery. And even the worst performing $600 card, the MSI 4070 Ventus, is still within 2% or Silicon Lottery again. And that brings us to the greater than $600 cards, starting with the MSI Gaming X, the fastest card in our testing, also commanding the highest price at $650. Though, at least compared to the other expensive cards, it does pretty well, especially considering how well it does in cooling performance. The ASUS 470 Tough rounds out the value bottom, though it does have the quietest cooler and the best cooling performance overall. 
Really though, most people should be considering only the $600 or hopefully cheaper cards, really only choosing the more expensive models if you needed better cooling performance. Now that we've already taken a look at the Founder's Edition, Founder to Founder's Edition, 